Hello everybody, Dokkan Assets here. Today we are back with another news roundup video. I do apologize for being a little bit late on this one. All the news dropped literally when I was going to bed. <laughs> I ended up staying up a lot later than I wanted to last night looking at the news on Twitter and whatnot. But I still wanted to do a video on it either way because there are some very important things that we need to talk about not just the fact of the title of this video but also what's going on with global right now as well as the details of this update and some other shenanigans that are going on so i figured we would round up all the news and we would get to it together so we're just kind of going to scroll through dokkan air's twitter because that's where all of the information is this time around like i said i literally just woke up a little while ago so um let's go ahead and get to it um even though there are going to be some things that are JP and global intermingled in between here. We're just going to kind of have to deal with it because that's just kind of how the timeline works. So this was something that was very interesting. Um, as you can see here, <clears throat> it seems that now um, a diabol a, a, a dia box. <laughs> We're already off to a great start, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> a dialogue box requesting your permission to allow tracking will appear after you hit close if you allow tracking bandai namco group advertisements you might have interest in will be displayed out of the game how to grant permission allow tracking on the dialog box that appears tracking permission can be changed at any time via the settings on your application device so this is uh this is something that's a little bit odd because basically this has been happening um <laughs> up until this point essentially um because a lot of applications and a lot of companies that you have apps for track your data and have cookies when you have applications of theirs installed on their phone or on their phone <laughs> you're basically uh, on their phone at that point once you install the app i guess because they just take it over with your information but um now due to ios's new policies of their privacy rules um this is something that they actually have to be upfront about which is good because obviously you want to know if your information is being tracked so i figured i would talk about it because it is kind of a big deal obviously this is kind of a scary thing to have this pop up <laughs> it's almost like a creepypasta type of deal you're like wait they're tracking me i'm sorry you know and it's even crazier to think that they can actually track you outside of the app you know what i mean so just wanted to make sure that people understood this um obviously i would probably recommend not allowing tracking um but i mean if it's mandatory to play the game which it doesn't look like it is i don't think we have uh, unfortunately another screenshot of the next screen here but I would personally not be about it. Um, if it pops up on my phone, I will definitely be denying it. But yeah, kind of spooky nonetheless. So um, let's see. We have here. Um, is this just a response? I don't understand how these tweets work sometimes, bro. So let's actually go to the bottom of this thread um, because this is actually the bottom of Air's thread with information here. So um, we had brand new information about the newest JP update come out last night called update 4.16.0. Now, um, I know that a couple of the non-believers in Patan Battle um, being an April Fool's thing were quickly squashed with this information. As you can see, we have our boy Chibi LR Goku, which is pretty cool. If I do say so myself, I think it looks very cute. Uh, Patan Battle, you get to use various items thanks to these Chibi style characters. Uh, then, as well, this was also something people were looking forward to, you can use two characters with the same name in the same team. And, by meeting certain conditions, you will, a you will be able to exchange SSR characters for coins in the Baba Shop. Now, I know that was like, huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, for a lot of people, because that's absolutely a crazy, crazy update. Let's go down the list, though, a little bit um, in terms of information here. So, for one, um, with the Patan battle, um, Garesh did note that, um, as you can see here, with the Patan battle, it sounds like 
exactly how legends does their adventure system so if you guys are familiar with the adventure system you basically get adventures from different events from logging in stuff like that and then you get the event and you put it into the adventure slot by putting a couple of units to do that adventure quote unquote even though they're literally basically just assigned to a time locked like timer basically and then after the timer is over you just get um points that contribute to missions that give you items and stuff like that as well as there's a shop to spend these points out as well um so i mean i'm not definitely not mad about that because i actually really like the legends adventure system i mean literally you know after you leave the game you just turn your adventures on for a while you know as you're going to sleep you put on your seven hour adventures because then by the time you wake up you know your adventures will be done so definitely not too upset about that and about the linking thing because obviously See, that's a part of this update seeing linked characters or same characters rather um will not be able to link up and it looks like you won't be able to use the same name characters together in certain stages such as easy a's so even though this was kind of expected that they weren't actually going to link it is a little bit disappointing because obviously i know a lot of people were really really hoping for them to link up and this would be like excuse me even more crazy of an update if that was the case right and it would have honestly like changed the entire game's layout weirdly enough even though it seems like such a simple change it would have changed a ton of how dokom works so kind of unsurprising there unfortunately but it is what it is um now we'll get back to this because uh there's a little bit more information about that later um but air notes with that part you can um, so you must have a character already at 100% to trade the Axis copies, even though that is a little bit unfortunate because it's like, oh, well, you know, I wanted to like <laughs> just trade a stinky SSR that I get that I don't really care about. Um, it kind of makes sense because obviously the idea is that you have these units are, excuse me, rainbow. Now, this was also another cool, simple change. Basically, this is how this is going to work in the box. Multiple characters uh, or multiple copies of the same character rather will now stack, which is awesome. Um, that is going to be a great way to save up on box space. And actually for me, a person whose box is cluttered with these miscellaneous SSRs because I don't bother anything. Um, this is going to be great. I don't know if this reduces the box space. I assume not because obviously here you can see these 10 SSR Gokus go into just 10 right here. So it looks like they still take up 10 box space technically. They're just not all over the place and they're a little bit more organized. Very, very nice update though. I'm going to be very excited to get that um, because I'm a very messy boy when it comes to my Dokkan box. <laughs> if you've ever been on my streams, you know how messy my box is. Now, Moving on to more information about the coins. Um, this was a huge, huge L, unfortunately. As you can see here, important note, characters obtained after the, or before the, oh my gosh, okay, wait, let me make sure this is clear because this is important. <laughs> I'm losing it, bro, because this got me heated last night. Important note. Characters obtained prior to update 4.16.0 cannot be exchanged for coins. This was a very, very unfortunate cause <laughs> because this obviously was something that we were really hoping would not be the case. I mean, well, we didn't really know that it would even be the case until this tweet was made. So... <sighs> I mean, here's the thing with this, right? A lot of people were really, really disappointed by this because obviously a ton of us have these characters just chilling in the box and it would be great to be able to actually do something with them because I would feel terrible bothering them. <laughs> um, but it just does seem like they're just going to have to sit there for a little bit longer until, you know, we maybe get something else to do with them besides maybe using them for essay for various units. Why they would do this, I'm not too sure. Um, because, like, I don't really see any reason for them to not allow characters private or prior to this. I guess the idea is that <laughs> money, <laughs> you know, then they don't have people like... You know, having, because like for me, right, I have, 
uh, probably over like 200 units or something that are just sitting in my box that I don't do anything with that are just like SSRs that are already rainbowed. And all of those would just be like, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess it depends on the um, like coin to unit sell ratio because we don't know how much they're going to sell for yet. But I could definitely buy like a whole unit with that, bro, um, if anything. So I'm wondering if they're just not doing that because then they realize, oh, well, then that's less summons people will do because they can literally just get some of these characters for free. Um, nonetheless, though, the thing to remember with this, because I did see a lot of people disappointed by this specific piece of news, is that even though this is a factor in this, it definitely still does not take away from the impact that this update has on the game because this is obviously a really, really cool thing to implement regardless of the circumstances, right? This is awesome. Um, this is a great update for them to implement. It's just very unfortunate that this is the way that they decided to do it. But really, this is just a really, really good update um, and definitely something that players of the game have been wanting for a very, very long time. Because obviously all of those Dokkan Fast SSRs that are just sitting there, you know, now actually have a use. So very, very cool stuff there. Um, I do also want to cover, you saw me pull this one up halfway through the video. Um, Luca did post the image of, um, here we go, the coins, right? So here's an interesting thing about the coins. Um, this was a piece of information that I didn't... Um, actually like no until funny enough the homie k vaughn uh brought it up to me um so this right here is basically describing that the same unit depending on what banner you pull it on will exchange for different types of coins so as you can see here we have this fizz kaioken goku currently in base form when he's not awakened and depending on what kind of banner that you pull him on, you can exchange him for a different type of coin. So obviously, if you pull him on a legendary summon banner, then you can get yellow coins. If you pull him on a Dokkan Fest banner, you can use it for Dokkan Fest coins. And if you pull him on some kind of banner that you know has blue coins, um, then you get blue coins. It's very weird to me that they don't just have it where it's like the type of unit that it is gives you those type of coins, right? Although, to be fair, I guess that wouldn't make as much sense. I mean, having Dokkan Fest units convert into red coins would definitely make sense. But having LRs be the only type of unit that could convert into yellow coins would be kind of unfortunate because then that's like literally only for the like the tippy top peak of whales right that would be able to get yellow coins from these units so um i guess that is cool in that regard um because then obviously you know you are actually able to still get yellow coins even if you don't have a bunch of lrs in your box rainbowed so that is very interesting as well um and this right here by the way is just displaying um that you can actually run units with the same name on your team it's just giving you a visual of this um on the actual like team composition menu so Pretty cool there. Um, I don't know why. It always bothers me when Dokkan screenshots things and the um, the potential system like glow isn't on. I don't know. It's <laughs> It trips me up because I'm like, bro, just do the potential system, please. <laughs> anyway, complete side tangent. But nonetheless, though, um, very good update with the naming. Obviously, you've talked about the coins. And I like this, actually. This is a very nice quality of life thing. Um, so that, I believe, is technically everything that we have about the update now we do still have uh this little nugget to go over but let me go over the global thing before we actually get to the title of this video right so um global actually did get um some new assets during the time because obviously it has been in maintenance for a fat minute um and as you can see this was to be expected because this was the update where a lot of this stuff was added. Well, A, Gogeta's EZA is there now. And funny enough, actually, here, let's scroll back. Dokkan literally tweeted about it while the game was in maintenance, which is so funny. <laughs> um, but 
nonetheless, obviously, Global World Tournament coming up um, because, of course, you know, they announced Snow Koo in the news. Uh, and as you can see, these are the two current banners uh, as well. It looks like the Goku and Goku EZA uh, are going to be coming as well because they have their stickers there. Uh, the two Blue Boys EZA, well, <laughs> not the LR Blue Boys, but you know what I mean. As well, it looks like the Gohan Chain Battle is also going to be coming up here. Um, we also, as you can see here, have the revival skill in the global files. Now, this was something that actually I did tweet about the other day um, because, of course, this is something that is important uh, for global players to understand. Um, they do actually... Um, implement a lot of this stuff early, which you should know that if you've been playing Dokkan for any amount of time, but, um, with this, right, this is literally the revival skill implemented now. So, um, what that does mean is that potentially we could get a revival skill unit for Saiyan Day along with JP. I do doubt that that's what they're going to do because obviously that would be kind of silly of them to... <laughs> you know, use their special anniversary mechanic on something that's not the anniversary. I mean, I don't really think that takes away from the hype of the anniversary necessarily, but, you know, it's still like, oh, well, the whole point of the new mechanic is for that. But as you can see, um, my boy Air does actually have um, the different assets here for the global support memory files as well. Again, like I said, they're just adding it in advance. Now, this was also something funny for global. Um, as you can see here, during the current maintenance, um, they actually removed a bunch of these events as you can see an issue was found where the app may crash the player brings a support item when attempting certain stages that have special restrictions as a result the following events have been temporarily closed until the issue is fixed this is literally like every single event on global <laughs> which is crazy you can obviously go down the list there but um because of this they did actually put up a emergency maintenance um that was like six hours as you can see um maintenance didn't actually end um and they dropped a emergency maintenance real quick um because of everything that happened uh very very crazy oh we're turning this up a feeling that they're yeah i know <laughs> my boy luca or my boy luca my boy air luca's up here bro <laughs> um obviously um is predicting the say in day um, shenanigans. But yeah, so also these two global cards uh, are also in there, but they're not translated, but they're just there. So uh, keep in mind, uh, global version will be perpetually <laughs> in a state of maintenance for basically the rest of the day. So just kind of, uh, you know, keep with that. Um, unfortunately, if you weren't able to get your login bonus, hopefully they do give some kind of compensation for that. Usually they do do that. But let's finally get to the actual title of this video um which i wanted to talk about the whole thing that this is not version z so we all thought that version z was going to be this whole name update thing right where basically you know the you could use the same characters with the same name on the same team and that would be that but clearly, that is not the case because this is version update 4.16.0. And I wanted to make sure that everybody understood that. We, at the moment, do not know what version Z is going to be. Now, um, TLDR, if you are not familiar with this version Z thing, because I did see a couple of people were not familiar with what the actual you know update is or where this version Z thing came from. Um, they initially announced this on the Dragon Ball Battle Hour. Um, I actually um, tweeted or tweeted about it. I did a news video about it uh, the other day. Let me see if I can scroll down. Uh, and find uh, Dokkan Air's tweet about it. Um, yes, here. The image will load in one second. But um, this version Z was something they announced during the announcement section uh, during the closing ceremonies of the Dragon Ball Battle Hour. Basically, um, we know nothing about this update now. So really, all we have 
is speculation because the only information that they gave about this is that they said that this was going to be a huge, huge, huge update for Dokkan Battle and that this update would be coming later and as well, it wouldn't be coming to both versions at the same time. It would be coming to JP first and Global later, which makes sense because that's usually how things work with Dokkan Battle. Um, they said that they are not finished working on it yet and they are still in the middle of working on it now and it will probably be ready in a couple of months. So I know people were kind of surprised when the name update dropped because then we're like, oh, version Z is happening right now. But that definitely does not seem to be the case. Um, so this is still a couple months down the line, which is good because that actually makes sense. <laughs> so I just wanted to make that clear for people. Um, I know a lot of people are speculating that this is going to be like a complete game overhaul. I know a lot of people are speculating that this is going to be a asset overhaul. Lots of different things that could potentially come out of this. I know that I was talking to a couple of the boys who are very involved um, with Dokkan on the file side of things. And apparently um, they could technically, if they optimize the game correctly, actually make the game half the current size that it is which is pretty crazy to think about because you have to understand right the game is six years old and they have just been building upon old code and building upon old code since then right it's just piling new code upon old code over and over and over again so obviously you're going to encounter these issues where sometimes you get issues like this or sometimes you know <laughs> in this case i guess um you know you get huge file sizes because of course well you know <laughs> it's just new code on top of old code so hopefully this update ends up being a little bit of optimization for dokkan um i would absolutely love that not just from a file standpoint but y'all know i am uh, pushing the uh <laughs> update the sprites agenda all the time so Hopefully they end up doing something big with a big overhaul to the game, but we will have to see. Of course, I will cover it when we get information about it, but that is going to do it for today's news video. Hope you guys enjoyed this little update. Let me know what you're most excited for with this update. Um, it should be coming pretty soon. Um, whenever they do these little update posts on JP, um, they don't give a concrete time. Also, JP uh, DBZ space isn't updated, but they don't really give a concrete date and time for when this is going to come. It's usually like one or two days though, so definitely keep an eye out if anything. But that is going to do it from me. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will catch you guys in the next one. Dokkan Assets out. Peace.